friends good day uh, again the oriental philosophy but uh, yesterday we had talked in oriental philosophy about uh, gautama buddha his basic teaching and his doctrine today in the same oriental philosophy we will discuss about the chinese philosophy the sage one of the uh, favorite chinese sage the name of which is confucius confucius uh, like lao tzu and other is one of the great philosopher of chinese philosopher so uh, confucius uh, written about the moral virtue of the individual as well as the collective virtue of uh, the people and the government so today we are going to discuss about the virtue governing by virtue how a government can um, rule effectively by applying the virtues or uh, by governing by virtue the idea of uh, confucius said that the idea of government by virtue or goodness rather than by law may sound rather strange to western people but government by virtue is exactly what confucius was hoping to achieve before questioning this utopia the various relation between virtues embodied in the jain may need to be examined the most comprehensive comprehensive statement uh, of the confucian philosophy is the uh, contained in the great learning there after observing that true greatness consists in manifesting the great virtues loving the people and achieving the highest good ethical eight ethical political items are initiated as means of achieving greatness the text read as follows the ancient who wish to preserve the fresh or clear character of the people of the world would first set about ordering their national life those who wish to order their national life would first set about regulating their family life so those who wish to regulate their family life would set about cultivating their personal life those who wish to cultivate their personal life would first set about setting their hearts right those who wish to set their hearts right would first set about making their wills sincere those who wish to make their will sincere would first set about achieving true knowledge the achieving of true knowledge depends upon the investigation uh, of things when things are investigated then true knowledge is achieved when true knowledge is achieved then the will becomes sincere when the will is sincere then the heart is set right and when the heart is set right then the personal life is cultivated when the personal life is cultivated then the family life is regulated when the family life is regulated then the universe and national life is orderly when the national life is orderly then there is peace in this world the last statement on this question when the national life is orderly then there is a peace in the world is an expression may be utopian of what most people would expect from government peace within a particular nation and peace among neighboring nation depends upon a great many factors such as enough to eat for all people a place to sleep security against disease self expression uh, etc all of which may be reduced to the uh, factors of material and uh, spiritual sufficiency sufficient material wealth and ample means of opportunity for spiritual uh, development and expression that is art education religion etc are necessary necessary 
Sorry, though they may not be sufficient conditions of peace. A per pervasive morality may also be needed to regulate competition and to pervert, uh, prevent strife and conflict. It is to be seen, therefore, that the task given to government by Confucius is gigantic because so utopian. According to him, it is the business of government to ensure that material and spiritual sufficiency exist and that people act morally uh, in order that peace be achieved. Granted that this is very nice ideal. Isn't it terribly impractical? After all, how can the government take care of all the material need to say uh, nothing of the spiritual need of every individual? Uh, is it not, is not morality a matter of individuals rather than the province of government? This is a question mark. Beside pointing to the fact that the goal of government for Confucius is very high, such questions point to different ways of thinking about government. One way uh, takes the attitude that obvious means to material and spiritual plenty. If provision of these is regarded as a function of government or the passing of laws, the raising of texts, the building of schools, churches, museums and the regulation of production, and the labor so that enough will be produced and each person will get his or her share of the production putting this into action would of course uh, require great bureaus which much paper shuffling on hordes of government worker however in confucian ideal state the main function of government are carried out at a local rather than national level in the communities and the families. The national government is something of an overseer. The actual government is affected not really by government worker, uh, but by the individual observing their proper relation to other individuals. When proper relation exists between all persons in society, the aim of government will have been achieved. Obviously, the Confucian concept of government is that of moral system. When all individuals act morally and all their relation with other person, there will be no such social problem. This is why Confucius can say that to achieve world peace, it is necessary and sufficient to such right one's heart. Cultivate one's personal life and regulate uh, family life properly. When these things are done, Jane will be developed and morality and godness will prevail. The quotation, uh, the way to reflect. Confucian emphasizes a certain philosophical of education which stress that the most important goal is to come to know humanity. It is necessary to know both what humanity is and what things are, so that life may be ordered in a way conducive to human welfare, making the best use of things in the world. Confucius says, the principle of higher education consists in preserving man's clear character in giving a new life to the people and in dwelling or resting in perfecting or the ultimate good. Only through education will people come to know themselves and the world. Only through, uh, without this knowledge, it is very difficult to order life so that it will be in harmony with things of the world. Only when life is in harmony with the world is there peace and happiness. According to Confucius, true knowledge ensues when the root or basis of things is known. An example of what is to have true knowledge is afforded by Confucius when he says, in presiding over lawsuit, I am a good as anyone. The thing is, we should make it our aim that there not be any lawsuits at all. In other words, one should remove the evil by removing the causes of the evil. Knowing the basic causes is primary in the rectification of malfunction. So, if one has a true knowledge, that is knowledge of the basis causes of crime. It may be possible to do away with crime 
itself thereby eliminating lawsuit the most important knowledge however is the self knowledge rather than the knowledge about external things such as the social condition and institution having knowledge is above all knowing who and what one is and this means knowing the principle upon one which one acts accordingly true knowledge is obtained only when there is a self knowledge or for in confucian confucianism it is always the moral and social self that is taken as ultimate when it is said that will become sincere then there is knowledge when the referent is self knowledge and the point is that one who has self knowledge it will deceive himself about the motive and principle of his action this thus it is said what is mean by making the will sincere is that one should not defeat, deceive himself people should try not try to deceive themselves if they do something in private no one will know and therefore it is all right the wrong action will be known to one who com commits it immediately and soon the effects will be known to other as well corruptness of private character that does not remain purely private a person does not live in isolation but affects it is affected by the whole community of the human being when someone is upset by worries and care or is overcome with passion his or heart is disturbed the person is hardly in position to make fair and just decision concerning any matter personal or public when on the other hand the art is set right one avoids the excess and defect that affects one ability to make good decision that is why confucius say the cultivation of personal life depends on setting one's heart right with the proper attitude to our life a person will remain calm even in joy and sorrow and will be able to live in a good personal life if parents have cultivated their personal life they have a family in which the proper relationship exists but the example of their own lives parent can demonstrate the way of gen of their children when the family follows the way of gen there will be harmony in the home and if there is a harmony in every home there is harmony in the whole country the emphasis on proper familial relationship is one of the most important ideas of confucius and it is worthy of some elaboration suppose children are born into a family where love and goodness are abound these children will grow up seeing parents loving and respecting each other and will have a model on which to develop their own sense of respect and love here the children see their parents respecting their adults the various offices official of government morality and law not in or on possible for the parents to rule properly in his family the but respect and obedience are natural to the children psychologists report that the first five years of human life are the most important for establishing basic attitude and behavior pattern this being so the what better way of ensuring respect for law go, government and people than by good education of children some since ordinary these five year or are spent in home basic education must take place in the home there is no question here of educating or not educating small child educating education will take place based mainly on imitation of a model and question is whether education will be good or bad this in turn becomes a question of whether or not the parents provide proper model for the children suppose uh, children may be unwanted in the first place are born into a family where little or love or respect is shown one parent by the other and where fighting is a part of daily fear suppose that the only parents show no respect or even else that what will children learn in this home where will they learn to respect themselves or other people and the institution of society statistic offered by sociologists suggest that this kind of family situation produce criminal or adverse male adjusted adult so this is 
the ideal form of a government, uh, a virtuous government uh, um, uh, uh, emphasized by Confucius and by building our character. Through building our character, we can build our nation. So this Oriental philosophy, Confucianism, um, uh, is a thought-provoking ideas. I hope we will uh, contemplate on it. Thank you for patient listening.